It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills under the lights on Sunday night. Well, there is a brand new stadium starting to take shape just across the way. But for now, the action is here at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. Their guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, They've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, they're hoping to get this offense on track in year two under Russell Wilson. Charles, I wouldn't have believed this. They were the lowest scoring offense in the league last year, just 16.9 points per game. And that means you have to change things up, and they certainly have. You talk about operating under new management. This team certainly is. I expect this offensive production to really rise. And Russell Wilson, I think we'll see much more of the Russell Wilson we've seen in the past. A man who was lost for the year in week four last season. Here's Javante Williams. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this loop for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. On third down, Wilson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Off the draw, here's Williams. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And that was Dorian Williams who found his way through and planted him for a loss on the play. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now it's Wilson. That is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Wilson. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Off the play fake, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Down the sideline he goes. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. 13 yards out, and the Bills will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. 
And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. On the counter, here's Williams. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know this securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they in one mind that, hey, what we'll worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Allen again here on second and ten. The left side caught by Diggs. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Sean Payton not liking that last call. He's going to go ahead and challenge. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And he fires one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Now Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Great effort by Alex Singleton as he finishes that play off. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Cook again. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Throwing his Allen on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Bills! Dalton Kincaid from 17 yards out. And the Bills lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. To the touchdown pass to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Denver's offense ready to go again. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And that's caught inside the 35. Huge play there for Denver, 44 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 
On first and ten, it's Wilson. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Here's second and four from the 24. Up the middle, it's Williams. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Broncos first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And the Broncos first down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. From the shotgun, Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. That'll give him eight that time. And now we've got a third down and three. And coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come up and put a hit on him, do they? Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The kick by Lutz is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. That's good for a Buffalo Bills. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. It's another first down, and that'll be a gain of 21 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On play action, Allen. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Baron Browning buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. But well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And they will wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This taken in by Kincaid. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Gonna throw. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. 
And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Denver's offense now set to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute draw all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Here's Wilson to throw. He's got his tight end. It's Chris Manhurts. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. On second down, Wilson. Got his man, it's Williams. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range as well, down at the 17-yard line. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in. It had just enough to get it done. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover, quarterback Josh Allen. He got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes, threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. And complete right side to Cook. And some room to work down the right sideline. And finally taken down at the 20 yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 45 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double digit lead for those other guys. They've been hanging around. A touchdown here to put this game. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. And even 20 yards for James Cook. And the Bills have moved out in front by three touchdowns. 
Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Open man, he completes it to Judy. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. At the 30-yard line. Wilson. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Wilson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Denver. Now Wilson on first down. This one swung out to Williams. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 35-yard line. They'll hand it off now. Williams able to push his way through. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Williams going to get it again on second down, and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Two yards on the play. First down, Broncos. To throw is Wilson. This will be caught. Judy. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos are in it. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. So after the INT, it's Allen. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen toward the sideline. And look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up second down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and seven. Back now in Buffalo. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Allen to throw once more. On the slant, he's got Davis. Down the sideline he goes. And down to the seven-yard line. A big play there on the 
catch and run. 55 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way. And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So the Broncos coming out now. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay Still alert, down. don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Zebra, zebra. Now Wilson. That's to the rookie, Marvin Mims. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Play action. Now Wilson. They'll roll him out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Here's Wilson. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. He was looking for Javante Williams out of the backfield, and it's third down. Now it's Wilson. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Room past the 35. Powers through it. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Throwing is Wilson. Now quickly to Judy. Calling a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up second down. There's Wilson to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for Denver. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So it's Bronco football as we get you reset here. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And the Bills getting set to go. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Be and this will be caught at the 30. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Here's Wilson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On the return, Hardy. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so he's not going to anymore. Because he was really having a heck of a ball game, isn't it? Boy, he is. I don't know when that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. And this has been the story all night long. They just came out firing and have not backed off, even with the big fourth quarter lead. Here's another completion for big yardage. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed, 